This is the Hover Air X1, and it is a self-flying drone that is gonna blow you away, but there's some things that you need to understand. So, there are three pros and two cons to this drone, and let's start out with the pros. And the first pro of this is gonna be that there's no remote. So how does this work with no remote? Well, basically, right here, you have a mode selection button. You select which mode you want. Once you've selected the right mode, then you hit this big button and it'll execute that command, which could be hovering, following you, or doing literally anything. So I'm gonna give you an example. It's hovered and I've selected in the app at what height I want it to be. It's eye level. So now all I have to do is hit this button. Continue. And now it has taken off and it's gonna hover right here. It'll keep me in frame, but it's not gonna move at all. So if I move away, it's, it's staying there. Put out your hand and it lands. That is so cool. And there's no remote required, which could be great for a beginner who might not really want to learn how to fly a drone. This requires no skills besides pushing two buttons, which is just crazy. And I really like how well the uh, active track or whatever they want to call it tracks you because it's amazing. I've run full speed and tried to get away from it. It does not fail. So that's really cool for this drone. And links for this drone are gonna be down in the description below next to that subscribe button, which is free to hit just so you know. The second pro is gonna be the image quality. While this is not gonna compete with a DJI Mavic 3 Pro, this is pretty good footage. I was pretty blown away when looking at this camera, it's so, so small and so tiny, but yet the image looks pretty good. And here's some test shots just so you can kind of kind of see how this looks, and it only shoots at 2.7K, but again, this footage looks decent, and I really don't think a lot of people are gonna complain about it unless you're looking for a professional level drone, which this is clearly not. And the third pro is gonna be the size. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and while they might look very similar, when you look at the thickness, it is way thinner. But the biggest perk to this thing's size is that the DJI Mini 3 Pro has to have this remote which is bigger than the Hover Air X1 by itself. And this folding design is what gives it that amazing small size. But we do have to talk about the cons. And the first one is gonna be that this drone cannot really go out and fly and capture something that's not you. Because it's using tracking features, it has to be on you at all times. So there's no like remote where you could go fly it out and see something else. Again, not really a con for the type of drone that this is, but just kind of showing you like, if you want a drone to go out and film, oh, that lighthouse out there looks really cool. I want to go over there and see what it looks like up close. This is not the drone for that. But the second thing is going to be the price because this drone is priced at about the same as a DJI Mini 2. And the Mini 2 is going to have that remote. It's going to have the ability to get even higher quality footage at 4K. And it's a full out drone while this is not. So the price I don't think is like outrageous, but I just think it's a little overpriced.